What's up everybody? I'm Josh Meek, the Uber Geek. Welcome to Pretty Dece, your daily entertainment and pop culture show. Today on the show we're going to talk about Firefly. That's every nerd's favorite show, right? It ran for one season, but the fandom continues to adore this show. Uh, dress up like its characters, write fan fiction about it. Uh, it. It continues to be part of the the uh, cultural zeitgeist all the, these many years later after the show is airing. We got the movie Serenity out of it. And of course, we've, we've gotten lots of, of different approaches to Firefly over the years. Uh, we've gotten comics, for example. Finally now, Firefly is branching out into the novel game. We are, for the first time, getting Firefly novels starting this year. These are coming out from Titan Books, and there's going to be three that have been announced so far. They're not being written by Joss Whedon, but he's kind of overseeing them from a creative standpoint. So signing off on the narratives and the general kind of storyline that's tying them all together in the continuation of the Firefly series. So the three novels that have been announced so far, the first one is called Firefly Big Damn Hero, which has got to be the coolest name for a book that's that's ever happened. This one's being written by Nancy Holder, and the general synopsis is that Captain Malcolm uh, finds himself in a dangerous situation after being kid kidnapped by a bunch of embittered veteran brown coats. That'll be out this year. And then next year, 2019, we have Firefly The Magnificent Nine, which is by James Lovegrove. That uh, is that uh, Jane receives a distress call from his ex, Temperance McCloud, that leads the, the Serenity crew to a dangerous desert moon. And then finally, the one that sounds the most exciting to me is unfortunately the one that's going to come out the furthest from now. But that's Firefly Generations by Tim Lebin. And in that one, the discovery of the location of one of the legendary Ark ships that brought humans from the Earth to the general Firefly universe promises staggering salvage potential, but at what cost? So we maybe get a little bit of backstory on the general Firefly world, which sounds like a really cool point of world building. I really love the idea of novels expanding a... A universe you know that was the thing that I loved the most about Star Wars as a kid the Star Wars movies were super fun were great I loved them but the thing that made me truly truly be a massive fan of Star Wars was the expanded universe and was the novel so the fact that Firefly is now dipping its toe into that uh, I'm very very excited about and I certainly hope that that these novels hold a candle to some of the awesome ones we got with Star Wars throughout the years when I was a kid. So, you know, fingers crossed, but we'll find out when the first one comes out later this year. That's going to do it for Pretty Dece for today. Thank you very much for joining me. Make sure to like Pretty Dece on Facebook, facebook.com slash Pretty Dece Show. Follow me on Twitter at Pretty Dece Show and visit prettydeceshow.com. I'll be back tomorrow for another daily episode. In the meantime, hit that subscribe button on the YouTube channel, in the podcast, and in the Anchor app so you never miss any of the content.